A while back, I asked, what should I do? And you decided that I should try and make a video game. And as a matter of fact, a video game developer actually reached out to me. So that's why we're here today. We're here to think of a game that I should make. I want to be as prepared as possible. Because if we have only two hours, that's not going to be enough. Now, dating sim, not a bad idea, but not that doable within that time frame. Uh, dungeon crawler, kind of difficult. Oh shit, Johan escape game. <laughs> I feel like it has to be 2D, otherwise it would be too much mechanics to also program in. Video editor, editing, editor sim. And we could do something with video editing. Tic-tac-toe remastered. <laughs> <laughs> How? Jump King. I feel like every game that a new developer makes is a rage game. Mostly because they just suck at it. Tuber Simulator. So there does exist a game called Tuber Simulator, which is a YouTuber simulator. But what about the Twitch Simulator? Point and kick puzzle. All right, that's that's an idea. Like, uh, not fucking Finding Nemo. Ah, Wally. -E. Finding Wally? -E? Was it Wally? -E? Idle Clicker could be cool. Six Nights at Mudans. Uh, Chris Eating Soba Endless Runner. I mean, there's something there, but like, what would be the mechanic? So it would be just him eating noodles. Every time he finishes, new one jumps up. So you have a time limit. And the mechanic would be easy. Just like clicking two buttons as fast as you can. So it would be very easy to pull off. So this has, I'd say, best potential right now. We're gonna go with that. I think we did it pretty good. We found out which game we'll do. Now we just have to do it. We have to put our thoughts into reality. That's gonna be easy. That's the easiest part. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I have hired a pixel artist who made some nice pixel arts, as you can see here. We have some bones, we have Connor right here, and Chris. I, I animated the mouth myself, you know. I'm, I'm a bit of an artist myself. This is, this is what I gave the artist, and I was like, can I get pixel art from this? And uh, I think they did a decent job. Oh yeah, I also have some music sound. Like background music and a very basic roadmap of, uh, you know, functionality, what should be done, some stretch goals that we don't have to get to them. Two hours isn't much. All right, Tomer, so you're a professional programmer, right? Correct. And we're ready to go. So I open up Unity, right? Correct. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna import all the assets. Okay, new projects. One. So, uh, going very simple. Okay, this is taking more time than I thought. What exactly is it importing, by the way? No idea. <laughs> I want to keep like as few new concepts as possible. So we're going to use like the same rules again and again and again and again. Yeah, got it. So uh, what now? All right. I need you to create a new folder right over here. Call it Sprites. All right. Got it. Now dump all your sprites into it. And what kind of background do we want for this? Do you have like a sprite? Yeah, for it I or? have two backgrounds. So it's this and I, ha mm -hmm. I made a wider one just in case. Uh, that's a good question. Let's see what resolution we want. Well, it says three aspect. Let's set it to say 16 by nine. Now drag one of them from here to over here. So what else do we want in our scene? Let's drag in the table. table. W, I think it also moves it. Oh, oh, okay. This is, by the way, the game view. This is what the player will see. What's next? Yeah, let's put the both players with closed mouths. So this is Chris, this is Connor. This is- uh, Make this sure they're like exactly the same distance from the center. You should look at the X. Value. I guess the Y should be the same as well. I don't know. I never met them in real life. Uh, give it a background. And create a new folder for prefabs. Yep. I'd like you to drag the player character into the prefab. Copy paste player character. Use the oh. red arrow to move it. Let's get rid of Kono. And now click the AI character. And over here in the sprite, I'd yep. like you to use this speaker and change it to Kono. Oh, okay. If you drag a ball from here to say here. Yes. And now you see both of them have one. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I think we can start going into the code. Hell yeah. And right click and create a script. Let's so call it eating script. All right. Okay. What do you remember about programming in general? Uh, print line. Wonderful. Okay, just to see that it works, let's go to Connell's right and change it to something else, doesn't matter what. And if you click play, it should change both of them to close mouths. I okay. believe. Okay, let's go to our code. We want to check when you hit the left button and the right button, you want to basically alternate, right? Yes. For now, we'll do like a little sanity test. Should be seeing them munching away. <laughs> Yes. We're going one level more complicated. How much time did we spend, by the way? 26 minutes. That's fine. We're a really good time. Go to the scripts. I need you to make me a ball script. Let's open uh, the prefabs. Yeah. Uh, let's go to the studio. How many states does the ball have? Four. Four states. Now we're going to do an array. We're going a little bit more complicated. So this is going to happen every frame because we removed the inputs yet, but it's still going to show us if it works or not. So let's go to Unity. Oh, yeah. They're constantly eating good. very, very fast. Yes. Okay, I think we're ready. Do you want to start with the AI or do you want to start with the player? Player. Go to scripts mm -hmm. and let's make a player control. We're going to do it like the very 
cheap win. If you hit play now, right. you think we're gonna win very easily. Left and right arrows. All right, it works. We're gonna go to a bit more complicated code because now we're doing an AI character and yep. we're gonna learn about something called coding. So I need you to make a new script, call it AI control. All right. So you told me you want this thing to start it in slow and accelerate, right? Yes. Let's click play. Let's see how much Connor is killing us now. All right. Okay. Oh, it's, it's give, him, give him a second. Yeah. Give yeah. him a second. All right. Okay. That was. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty expo exponential. Okay. I think we did all like the very, very basic logic. What's else on your list? What should we do next? Should we do a fail state or should we implement the balls stacking? Let's do the balls. All right. Open the prefab. Yep. Right click here and uh, create empty. And let's call it ball stack, I guess. Go to the right. Drag the ball. I think you want to drag it to like the top of the list. So like look like they're one inside each other. Oh, oh I see what you mean. Got it. Copy paste it and lower it. Actually, it looks kind of wrong. Let's do it bottom to top. Looks okay? Yeah. You can copy this entire stack and move it like to the left of him if you want multiple stacks. How many do you want? It's up to you. Uh, I don't know how long the players can sustain against corner. I think three stacks would yeah. be max. Let's go to the script. Let's make a ball stack script or a score script. If you hit play, they should all be gone. Nice. Let's go to Visual Studio and edit the eating script. Right, so it should work. Maybe. <laughs> right. Oh, shit. Yeah, it works. Okay, does Connor work? Yeah, Connor oh, works. And it crashed. I mean, I guess we can also just put the fail state to be 30 balls. If the, either eight. of them reaches 30 balls, it's over. Yeah, so no life points. I think oh. this is easier, right? Oh, okay. Let's open the player prefab to make sure we actually have 30 balls. We have 27. <laughs> I mean, technically, we can't even see the balls. Five. Wait, actually, let me just remove these. Let's just do two stacks. Okay. I need you to make me a new empty object. Let's call it states tracker. Let's create a script for him and let's add it as a component to the state tracker. All right, so corner should win and hell yeah. All right, corner one. Oh, can we make corner less exponential? Let's m move his uh, initial delay to 0.25. 25, okay. And instead the acceleration, let's add like at least another zero. I think that's gonna look a bit more natural. I had the idea of like exporting to like WebGL and then people will be able to play it on their phone. So we need buttons on the screen. That's what I wanted to actually do as well to have more visual confirmation of what people should do. So I have sprites, I have left and right, which I kind of yep. did want to be on screen. So we're gonna make two buttons. Go to the canvas, the I scale. Yeah, scale with screen size. We want two buttons. So right click the canvas, mm -hmm. button, text niche pro. All right. So we want them to do the following. Drag the player code. Let's see if pressing them works, first of all. Oh yeah, it does. Okay, but I think you also want when the player uses the keyboard for them to like sort of visually show it. Oh, you mean like uh, make something happen with the buttons? Let's try. It might take a bit, but let's try. Works. Okay. So you talked about getting it up or like how to make it work on a mobile phone? Yeah, we can do it after, but basically there's a few things. First of all, you need some tool that makes sure that the aspect ratio looks kind of normal regardless of the phone. Then you need to change the import setting so it's to WebGL. And then you need some website that lets you upload game. Well, we have eight minutes uh, left. Do we have any functionality that we want to have? So one more thing we can do really quickly. If Connor wins, we can say how many balls you got to. Oh, okay. Let's go to the state tracker. Let's edit it in the code. All right. So in the case that I wanted to add a URL, oh, I guess I could. Mm, I don't know. No, I mean, like displaying it. I could just, um, under Chris1, I could just add a URL, right? The thing is, I don't think you'll be able to copy paste it. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, that's true. Do yeah, our code. Way. We have six seconds. I mean, to be honest, within the yeah. time frame we had, we actually made a game. I mean, you made a game. I followed your steps. You, we made a game based on your uh, we, we design that was simple enough to actually do in two hours. Yeah, I mean, we got pretty far. Oh, edit game page. Right click and zip it, make it an archive. Okay, and just upload it. Yeah. I still think Konosoba was a better name, but that's okay. Uh, Let's hope. Run game. And a big for some reason. It works. The only thing I realized right now, right now, that we missed 
was uh, <laughs> there's no audio. Yeah, there is none. But it's fine, it's fine. Everyone should be able to play it now. We did it. Yeah. We, we made a game. We published a game. You can Thank add it to your resume. Thank you so much. Do you have anything you want to sh uh, shout out? I saw some bunch of people started following me on Twitter, so that's nice. I make free games. You can check my HPO page. Then I also have one on Steam. I'm gonna warn you that it's less of a game, more of a torture device. A uh, rage game? Yeah, a very rage game. I appreciate you coming on. Let me actually try it. All right, 11. 11 was fine. It wasn't supposed to be possible, in a way. Because the, the prize is something that is special. The prize is something that, you know... You can continue playing even after Connor won. God damn it. Do you want to play this game yourself? Well, I've left a link in the description down below. You can check it out yourself. There might be a prize at the very end if you win. Hope you enjoyed the video. Do you want to see me make more games? Learn more 